What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I did a transformation into a boy. This is my outfit uh, for the boy challenge. I am wearing my boyfriend's clothes, this Obey outfit, my stepdad's watch, um, these Volcom jeans, some Vans, um, this hat that I think it's from Mainland. Um, and yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, transformation, how to make yourself look like a dude. Um, see you guys later. Bye guys. Okay, so I began by putting this eye cream just to reduce um, puffiness and anything like that on my skin. And I'm getting a Too Faced um, primer for your face, filling in my pores and making a nice, even, smooth canvas for me to work with. And now I'm getting Urban Decay's Naked Skin Foundation. I'm using the shade uh, 4.0, I believe. And I'm getting a damp beauty blender. I'm using one to two pumps of foundation. A damp beauty blender does soak up excess product. So you're, it's impossible for it to look like cake face. I know it might seem like a lot I am putting on, um, but since I am using a damp beauty blender, it does sheer it out. And plus, um, this foundation is a very, very liquidy. And it is the closest thing to looking like skin um, in uh, my collection of foundation. And I'm putting on foundation just because I do want to, you know, cancel out redness, hide blemishes. You can still see it peeking through, but um, guys still do have nice skin. And I'm getting this LA Girl Concealer. I'm only putting a very, very little amount. I'm not going to do the whole highlighting thing. As you saw, I just put legitly just dots on under my eyes just because I am wanting to cancel out the... The, like the purpley pinkness under my eyes um, because guys still do take care of their skin at least most do and I'm getting a damp beauty blender again and I'm just going to just blend it out so um, you cannot notice that there is concealer now I'm getting the LA Girl concealer in the shade Toast oh, yeah, under my eyes is the shade Creamy Beige and I'm just pretty much sculpting where I want the contour to be if you notice on guys they do have the cheekbones. Um, girls normally just contour the cheekbones, but guys, natural contours, it does go down at the sides. Not necessarily on the sides of their mouth, but it does, it is like pretty much right next to it. Um, and yeah, so I'm getting a synthetic brush from Real Technique. It's the expert face brush, and I'm just sculpting out that where I want the contour to be at. And now, um, I kind of made like an angry face to make those where the contours would be on the guy. I don't know, I kind of just like studied, um, like when I wanted to do this, I kind of just like looked where um, guys' natural like uh, face expressions, like where the natural lines would be at for face expressions. Of course it's different for every guy, but I, I think if I was a guy, this is where my natural face expressions would be at. And I'm just sculpting out pretty much everything where I want to be contoured. But it's not going to be like looking this intense at the end of the video. Um, and yeah, and I'm just getting the same synthetic brush and just blending it out. And I'm getting that cool tone shade from the Anastasia contour palette. I don't know what, what this is called. And I'm getting a very um, like intense contour from um, Crown Brushes, I believe. And I'm just going to pretty much would like literally sculpt out I, I've just been sculpting out uh, where guys' natural contours and highlights would, would be at um, that's pretty much what I'm doing right now and I'm just I'm just pretty much setting where everything I put on that um, LA Girl concealer I'm just pretty much setting the entire face with that powder and now what I'm doing right now is I'm creating an Adam's apple and um, some people kind of neglect this step if they're doing transforming themselves into a guy, but I am doing myself an Adam's apple. I'm going back and forth with highlighting and contouring. I'm shaping out where the Adam's apple would be at, and I'm going to highlight where the where the ball of the Adam's apple would pop out from. Um, and I know I know I literally need a little bit more practice, but it did come out a lot better than I thought it would, and it actually kind of like freaked me out at first to see how like much the Adam's apple did pop out and I'm just getting um, a big brush and just blending it out. Now I'm getting my Anastasia Dip Brow um, Pomade in the shade Chocolate and the number 12 brush and I'm just going to 
mimic hairs of a guy. I'm not doing any sculpting. I'm just kind of just making my eyebrows thicker and bushier than what they would normally be and um, blending it out because guys do tend to have more hair on their eyebrows because most of the time they, they don't pluck them and so um, I know my eyebrows, my friends said my eyebrows are still like too clean but guys do um, pluck their eyebrows but I'm just trying to work what I have and mimic hairs of eyebrow hair mimic hair I don't know but um, yeah that's pretty much what I'm doing right now and I am getting the dip brow pomade again in a stipple brush from MAC. I believe this is a 109 brush and I'm just going to stipple my entire beard on. What I'm going for is more of a 5 o'clock shadow type of look and I'm just going to stipple everywhere. Um, you don't really have to like do the beard but I feel like it does like complete it and if you, um, I feel like also that if you don't have a beard you can pretty much tell it's still you and I was just more of like nervous of doing the beard and the eyebrows in my opinion but honestly it was pretty easy I didn't think it would be that easy because I saw some videos where girls like look like they really did have a beard but um I'm just stippling everywhere where a beard would be and following the contours so you can't really see the contours but in um, different directions you can tell that your face is sculpted out in different ways and so I'm putting on a mustache and um, a goatee soul patch and like a chin strap um, anywhere and just pretty much covering and going for a five o'clock shadow type of look Okay, now I'm getting those two, Nectar and Buff. I put um, Painterly Paint Pot on my eyes, and I'm just going to put the eyeshadows just on there, just um, for a set on the of my eyeshadow, and also I'm going to get that cool gray toned, and we're going to put it in the inner corner of my eyes, because um, men do tend to have a shadow. Um, in the inner corner of the eyes because they do not don't they don't highlight that area um, so naturally it is shadowed and I'm gonna get um, the cool gray again and I'm gonna get that stipple brush and I'm just going to set the entire pomade face so it does look more but the gray toned um, five o'clock shadow and I try to mimic some hairs with my um, my number 12 brush that I used for my eyebrows. I tried to mimic hairs, but it didn't really work out. So I just pretty much blended it in with the with the cool gray from the Lorac Pro 2 palette. And I'm just gonna cover everything what I just did just to set it and so it doesn't move throughout the throughout the day because my skin is still oily, even though I am um dressing like that, my my oil still will pop through and I am wearing makeup so I don't want it to um move anywhere I want to stay in place and that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial bye guys